All right, I thought I'd show you my new toy. I um, always have to buy things. Uh, probably don't really need this, but I thought it was kind of cool and the price was right. I think it's uh, there's certainly less than 20 bucks. I think I might have paid maybe $13 for this, something like that. Um, let me take it out of its case here, uh, which is e easy to do on camera. Um, so it is a DVM, basically. Um, and it is a tweezer DVM. So you can grab little surface mount parts and measure them. Um, so that's pretty handy. I actually have a tweezer attachment for my regular DVM. Um, so you could do it that way too, but this way is all kind of self-inclusive. Um, I don't know which is better, <laughs> but uh, but it's fun. It's a new toy. Uh, let me zoom in a little so you can see it, see it better. Uh, we can turn it on. Um, and it has some settings. Uh, we'll go through those and we'll measure some parts. Uh, it comes with a set of replacement uh, tips as well, which is nice. I don't know if they're different size or just replacement. I assume they're just probably just replacement. Um, and it also came, I threw them away already. <laughs> it also came with some leads so you can plug B and C's into these loops right here and then use it as a DVM and I thought that was just ridiculous uh, so I threw them away <laughs> they weren't very good quality anyway um, so let's um, let's take a look at the manual and uh, and uh, see what we can do with this thing uh, just come with a manual um, I don't know if you can read that quite but uh, it um, talks about the buttons and things. Uh, let's see if we can look at the specifications. Uh, here we go. Here are the specifications. This is probably more interesting. It measures resistance. It measures capacitance. It measures diodes. It does continuity checking. It'll measure zeners, which is kind of cool, up to 20 volts, I guess. And uh, LEDs, uh, up to 20 volts. So I'll have to try that out. That'd be cool, because uh, blue LEDs, gallium nitride LEDs, are, can go up to 4 volts sometimes. But they're usually around 3 volts, something like that. But usually diode checkers can't get them because the diode checkers only go up to 0.2 volts. And then, and actually, we'll measure coin cell batteries as well. So you can uh, measure batteries here. Um, see, what's the accuracy? Um, resistance, it'll do uh, different ranges 400 ohms, 4K, 40K, 400K, 4 megs, and 40 megs. Wow. Uh, point one ohm resolution and two percent accuracy and two and a half percent accuracy that's uh, not very good but it's really these things are really valuable is while you're loading a board to make sure you've got the right part because these little service mount parts kind of get scrambled around sometimes and you want to make sure you've got the right one because they're a pain in the butt to um, take off the board and put a new one back on um, capacitance it says has a one picofarad resolution right Again, it's two and a half percent, three percent. So capacitance, yeah. Diode test uh, doesn't really say the accuracy very good. Two milliamps. Um, one and a half percent uh, for voltage. Yeah, I think we should just try it out. More fun. Um, so I thought we would try uh, some parts. Uh, I've got some some parts here. And um, we can also try maybe it in circuit, uh, see how it does in circuit. So let me get a chair here, see if I can do everything on camera. So we have some parts in here. We've got some uh, capacitors and uh, in this box. And I have some resistors in this box. Let's do the resistors first. Uh, let's go for 11K. That's a pretty, pretty easy one, I would think. So, um, we need to set the um, uh, function correctly. So we have this switch here, RD and Cs, Zeners and LEDs, and batteries. So we've got it in the resistive capacitor type thing here. And then uh, it's set to auto mode, so it should auto, auto figure out what things are. You can also uh, tell it to... Can you see that little thing there? I guess you can. Uh, so, how can I do this on... Let me let me grab it on camera, then I'll show you the result on camera. Uh, so I'm grabbing it. Oop, 
Oh dear. I'm grab it, grabbing it, which is not the easiest thing to do because I picked a tiny one. I think these are 0603s. Oh, oh dear. I have to do it with, it with one hand here. I don't think two hands is going to work. Let me see if I can grab it. Okay. And then on camera here, it's measuring. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. And it's measuring 10.98. Uh, for an 11 ohm resistor, that's uh, 11K resistor, 10.98, 10.99. Excellent. So I would say that's a pass. Let's, uh, let's put that one back. Let's try uh, something big. Let's see. The biggest I have right here is a uh, 100K. So we can grab one of those. Um, grab it. So I'd say it's hard to use these tweezers. Uh, but it's coming out 100.4K. 100, 100 uh, yeah. Pretty cool. All right. So I'd say that's success. Let's try capacitors. Um, let's see, let's try a, maybe a 0.1. These are nice and big, so they should be easier to grab onto. <laughs> um, grab this one. And we'll check it out here. It's trying to do resistance right now, and it's saying it's overloaded with 10 megohms. And it's just sitting there looking stupid. So let me hit the function button and set it to what looks like a capacitor. Oh, there we go. 81 nanofarads. So it's supposed to be 100, and it's 81. Well, I guess I should probably pull out my LCR meter and see how accurate this thing is. But that's pretty cool. At least it's telling you it's in the right ballpark. Let's do a uh, one of these little guys here. Uh, this should be um, uh, 0047 microfarads, otherwise known as 4.5 nanofarad. No, wait a minute. What's it doing here? What's it measuring? Uh, I'm not grabbing it right. Oops. Oh, no. Yeah, so these uh, tweezers need work. 4.5 nanofarads is what it's reading. 4.502. <laughs> 4.497. Um, yeah, so, success. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do a really big one here. Let's do a 10 microfarad. See if it knows how to do that. Um, see if we can even grab that. I might have to spread these apart. Let's look at the bottom end of it here. And I will grab it. And we will see if it can do that. It's saying 0.1 nanofarads now. That's not right. I don't think I'm making contact to the uh, to the metal portion of the capacitor. There we go. Uh, it's trying. There we go. 11 11.6 microfarads. Nice. So it does do it. It's a little slow, but it does do it. So, again, I think that's a success. Let's, um, let's see. Let's try some circuits here. Let me look at my, on my bench. I think I've got another thing we can try here. Yeah, let's try this first. In, this really isn't in circuit. This is one of my, um, my little LEDs. But we can try the LED function, so. Uh, let's see. Let's put it on... LED function, which is this here, and what's the function? Hmm. I guess it just says DC volts, okay. And let's stick it on an LED. Oh, it lit it up, and it's measuring 2.6 volts. Nice! Again, success. I like that. Uh, so this comes in real handy. Uh, to figure out if you have the LED in right or wrong, uh, the polarity. Um, let's turn it around and see if it still lights it up. So maybe that wouldn't be very valuable. No, it doesn't do mine. It doesn't do negative voltages. So you do have to have the uh, tweezer on the right right way around. Can you? I gotta get everything in. Let me zoom out a bit for this. There, that's probably better. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. 2.67 volts. 2.66 volts. Uh, 2.73 volts. 2.68. 2.67. 2.73. Six. Okay, cool. So that's a success. Um, here's a board uh, that will be coming up in a future video. This is a noise source, but it has an LED on board. Uh, let's see if we can turn on. Oh, there we go. It's a, a red LED, and I'm measuring 1.74 volts. So um, probably a gallium phosphide uh, LED. Let's see, there are some other things in here, so let's change the mode again. I'll change the mode back to, uh, let's, let's do capacitors. Let me change it to capacitor mode. And here's uh, something in circuit here. Uh, let's clamp onto that. And uh, 0.07 nanofarads. I'm not sure if that's right. I don't think that's right. Oh, there we go. About two nanofarads. That one's measuring two. Measure this one again. Maybe it's not breaking through the... Yeah, seven nanofarads. Yeah, it's measuring in circuit. Measure this one. It's going to be a smaller value. Uh, 0.3 nanofarads. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. There's a little diode here. Uh, it has a diode, regular silicon diode feature. Let's uh, stick it on there. And it's measuring 0.7 volts. Nice. And let's turn it around. And it's measuring overload. So, well, it's measured uh, a diode in circuit, a capacitor in circuit. Uh, let's see, here's a resistor in circuit. Let's change the uh, thing to resistive. Oh, it's in, uh, that's continuity mode. Uh, there we go. Ohms. Let's clamp on here. Uh, it's saying that's a dead short. Uh, hmm. Let me try a different one here. Uh, 153 ohms is what I'm measuring. And let me get a magnifier out here and see if it's, it's 153. Uh, looks like it's a 300 ohm. So in circuit, it's probably loaded down. Um, so you have to be, you know, probably in circuit, it's probably not going to be all that useful. Um, maybe for checking diodes. Um, but, uh, like I said, I think uh, somewhere between 13 and, uh, and 20 bucks. Uh, seems like a fun toy. I would say the uh, the tweezers are a bit wonky. Uh, they're very long, uh, so you can use them like this. But what that means is that they kind of the tips kind of don't quite meet all the time. So you have to be kind of careful when you're when you're doing things. They can they can go past each other. Uh, they're not really finished very well either. So I think maybe a little bit of uh, Sandpaper, or they are they are gold plated, so maybe not sandpaper is the right thing to do. Um, but maybe burnish them. Uh, they they seem like they're stamped out, and there's a sharp edge right here. So maybe uh, burnish them a little flatter. Uh, I think that be that would be better. Um, yeah. So uh, it comes with. Um, let's see what kind of batteries are in here. Uh, AAA's. A's. They probably last a long time. Um, oops. I think I did that right. There we go. So AAA batteries. Um, oh, we didn't check, check the, um, let's see. I have a coin cell here. We can put it into uh, volt mode. So we can grab a, grab a coin that says minus three volts. Turn it around. Oh, that's interesting. How did I just kill it? 
minus, oh, well, that's very strange, minus 3 volts in that direction, and 0.6 volts in that direction. I'd say that's a fail. <laughs> what the heck's going on? Minus 2.6. Very strange. Very, very strange. It doesn't like positive voltages. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, that makes no sense. Let me uh, pull up my favorite, my favorite voltmeter. This is a uh, ANG. Okay, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. An egg, A N E N G. It's an A N eight thousand and one, eight zero zero one. I love this meter. It's a great little meter. Nice big display. Uh, let's see. Come over here. Three volts that way. Minus three volts that way. So, hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what's up with this thing. Maybe I just don't have it in the right mode. Or maybe it only likes polarity one way. Well, that's very strange. Try it again. Um, yeah. Pick the coin up. So, minus three. Point six. Looks like there's a protection diode in there or something. Yeah, I don't know. I have to I have to read the instructions. Very strange. Hmm. So, thumbs up for resistive capacitor. LEDs is great. Really like that. We didn't test. I don't have any zener diodes here, but it probably works too since it's a high compliance voltage into um, into the LEDs. Twenty. It says it's the compliance voltage of twenty volts, which is great because most zeners you run across are are um, you know, kind of 12 volt, 5 volt, you know, range and stuff. So that would be great to check that out with. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's a fun toy. And it's yellow. <laughs>